hello to all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues. Welcome to Storytime with Ray, where we read the King James Version of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation to take in the wisdom and understanding from the Word. Thank you for joining, and God bless. Numbers chapter 13 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Send thou men, that they may search the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel. Of every tribe of their father shall ye send a man, every one a ruler among them. And Moses, by the commandment of the Lord, sent them from the wilderness of Paran. All those men were heads of the children of Israel. And these were their names, of the tribe of Reuben, Shemua, the son of Zakur, the tribe of Simeon, Shaphat, the son of Hori, the tri of the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, of the tribe of Issachar, Egal, the son of Joseph, the of the tribe of Ephraim, Oshia, the son of Nun, of the tribe of Benjamin, Palti, the son of Raphu, of the tribe of Zebulun, Gadiel, the son of Sodi, of the tribe of Joseph, namely of the tribe of Manasseh, Gadi, the son of Susi, of the tribe of Dan, Amiel, the son of Gamali, of the tribe of Asher, Sethur, the son of Michael, of the tribe of Naphtali, Nafi, the son of Vopsi, of the tribe of Gad, Ge Geul, the son of Mashi, these are the names of the men which Moses sent to spy out the land, and Moses called Oshia, the son of Nun, Jehoshua. And Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan, and said unto them, Get you up this way southward, and go up into the mountain, and see the land, what it is, and the people that dwelleth therein, whether they be strong or weak, few or many, and what the land is that they dwell in, whether it be good or bad, and what cities they be that they dwell in, whether in tents or in strongholds, and what the land is, whether it be fat or lean, whether there be wood therein or not. And be ye of good courage, and bring of the fruit of the land. Now the time was the time of the first ripe Grapes. So they went up and searched the land from the wilderness of Zin unto Rehob, as men come to Hamath. And they ascended by the south, and came unto Hebron, where Ahimon, Sheshai, and Talmai, the children of Anak, were now Hebron, was built seven years before Zoan in Egypt. And they came unto the brook of Eshkol, and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster of grapes, and they bare between two upon a staff, and they brought of the pomegranates and of the figs. The place was called the brook Eshkol, because of the cluster of grapes, which the children of Israel cut down from thence. And they returned from searching of the land after forty days. And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel, unto the wilderness of Paran, to Kadesh, and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation, and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We came unto the land whither thou sentest us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, and the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched 
unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of a great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. Thank you so much for joining and listening to this beautiful chapter. I highly recommend it as a personal read. Please join me on the next chapter as we dive in deeper into the Word. If you do love the Word as much as I do, express so by liking, sharing the Word with your loved ones, and even subscribing. And may the Lord bless you each and every day.